Hi, my name is Myers Barnes, and I want to talk to you about a business strategy. What's the business strategy? The business strategy is how to manage your calendar for a year if you're in the business of real estate. Now, here's the philosophy. Here's the business strategy. There's no such thing as a bad month. Now, what are you saying to yourself? Well, gosh, I've had bad months before where I haven't made any sales, and I'll suggest to you, no, you didn't have a bad month. You had a bad two months. How's this whole thing work? Well, we got to start with a goal because you always start with a goal. Let's set a goal this year, and you're going to enter in the year, and you're going to say, I'd like to make 36 sales this year. 36 to me would be a minimum standard. For some people, that would be high. For some others, it would be low. But that should just be a minimum standard 36. So let's break down your goal into monthly goals. Three, 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 three. And I think you get the gist of this. All right, now here's what happens. It's January 1st, and you start the year off, and you're supposed to make three sales. Now, here's what happens. Though. Zero, zip, zilch, not a nothing. You end up with zero sales here. Head fake. Here comes a head fake. You casually say this to yourself. Gosh, I had a bad month. But did you have a bad month? No, you actually had two bad months. Well, what do you mean I had two bad months? See, you don't feel it here. This is the month you didn't make any sales. The truth is, called cash flow works this way. You've got no closing 60 to 90 days later. So what looks like a bad month here was actually two bad months. Why? Because as they say, you know, you've heard the saying, cash is king. Well, if cash is king, then the savior is cash flow. Now you have no cash flow coming in here. So you didn't have one bad month, you had two bad months. Now let's do this. Philosophy, it's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. Let me repeat that. It's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. Now you have to play the game of catch up. How many sales do you have to do just to catch up now? Answer, six. All right, reality sets in again. How many sales do you make? One. Now you say, gosh, I just had a bad month again. No, you didn't have a bad month. You had a bad how many? Come on, remember, two. Now here's the reality. Here, you had two bad months of no sales, but the truth is, multiplied times two, now you've got no closings here, you've got no closings here, now you've had a bad four months. And we could keep this going. What if I have a bad quarter? You don't have a bad quarter. You have a bad quarter, what happens with the cash flow is here, you've got a bad half a year. And you can lose an entire year with this whole philosophy of being casual. It's been said that casualness causes casualties, and so you can't ever have a casual attitude that you've had a bad month because it's always times too. So this is how you manage a business calendar. You manage it to the cash flow. And you can never, ever get to this point that you're going to be able to catch it up. So you always have to keep up. So again, here's our philosophy. Watch this. We're going to have three sales here. That means we're going to have cash flow of three sales. If we have one sale here, we've got zero sales. Now this is the hard part about keeping up. What if you do only have zero sales here, then you have one sale here? How many do you have to make just to keep up? Watch this. You were supposed to have nine, now you got to make eight. If you couldn't make three here and three here, what do you think the probabilities of making eight are? Answer, none. That's how you lose your entire year. So let's go back over it. It's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. Casualness will cause a casualty. There's no such thing as a bad month. It's always times two. Run your business like a business person, and let's make a bunch of money. Thanks.